You guys in your French language? Yeah. Hey, what do you know, Chris? Uh oh. Ça va bien, Chris? Est-ce que tu vas bien, Fred? Est-ce qu'on est dans le francophone aujourd'hui? Je me parle. Est-ce que Chris comprend maintenant? Je m'appelle Chris Tempel. All right, we're diving Whiskey Cove today. First time at this spot. Uh, nice visibility. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Maybe down somewhere else after. Whiskey Cove is traditionally a shore dive, but parking is very limited. The site has a handful of boulders with cracks and crevices to peek into, as well as a wall that drops down to roughly 20 meters. We did not see any fish, unfortunately, but it's nice to see so many starfish after the mass die-off following the starfish way syndrome. Too bad the sun star has not fared as well and are now listed as critically endangered. I love how the ocean is one big composting bin and nothing gets wasted. This guy might have been legal, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt and let him live another day. The gooey duck is native to the coastal waters of Western Canada. The shell can exceed 8 inches and the siphon can be as long as 3 feet. The gooey duck is the largest barring clam in the world and longest living with a typical lifespan of 140 years. Whiskey Cove would have been alright for a shore dive, but we had a boat and we were looking for something a little more. We found a link called Carcass Pick Clean. Like I said, nothing gets wasted. In 1994, the Marine Life Sanctuary Society created a project to involve the sport diving community in assisting with collecting data on lane cod populations. At the time, the commercial lane cod fishery in the Strait of Georgia had been recently closed and the sport fishery was restricted by new size limits and annual bag limits. This project is called the Lane Cod Egg Mass Survey. By taking part in the annual Lane Cod Egg Mass Survey, you are helping to gather important information about the valuable local resource, which has been declined to just 7 to 22% in the Strait of Georgia. Divers participating in this annual survey collect information on the number, size, condition, and position of egg masses, as well as whether or not a guarding male is present. Data such as this helps to determine the health of local Lane Cod populations. If any of you come across Lane Cod egg masses while diving, I highly encourage you to share that information. If you guys enjoyed that one, consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down too, but explain why so I can improve on the next one. Thanks, peace.